Various cultures approach the art of storytelling in different ways in predominantly Western cultures. The approach tends to be very linear, progressing from a beginning, a point A, and moving towards an ending, a point B. In other cultures, in the East, in Africa, and also in the southern United States, to name a few, the art of storytelling is less linear and more circular. The Lotus Sutra comes to the Western reader out of a long history of Buddhism and is one of many sutras or teachings of the Buddha. Outside of its rich history and cultural traditions, it can seem disjointed, burdensome, challenging, and perhaps, dare I say, even off-putting. The Lotus Sutra meanders around a central theme which to people looking for a direct point A to point B story find difficult, perhaps even impossible to understand. Lecture on the Lotus Sutra employs a circular approach to studying the Lotus Sutra, but on a linear framework. I have extracted out of various locations in the Lotus Sutra certain themes which I present reassembled in a chapter format. There are chapters covering such subjects as the overview of the entire Lotus Sutra. The overview is designed to give you a flavor of what goes on throughout this text. One whole chapter is devoted to the study of the major parables contained in the Lotus Sutra. Each parable is summarized and then analyzed so the reader will be able to understand the cultural context of the parable the symbolism employed by the Buddha, and further, what the story can provide for us as modern practitioners. A single chapter covers all of the various predictions of future enlightenment of the Buddha gave to all of his contemporary disciples. These predictions may seem tedious and irrelevant to the modern reader, and so may be tempting to be passed over. There are important lessons for us contained within these predictions which become more apparent when grouped together. Chapter 2 and 16 are given their own chapters as being the heart and soul of the Lotus Sutra. The important messages are set out in a way which hopefully will make them seem less theoretical and more usable in our daily lives. One whole chapter is devoted to faith, merit, and practice. How do we practice the Lotus Sutra is a frequent question I am asked, as well as what benefit should one expect to gain from their practice? The Buddha tells us how to practice, how to gain the greatest merit, which is the ultimate goal of Buddhas who have ever appeared throughout time. The single purpose for all Buddhas is to enable all beings to manifest their own individual Buddha potential. All of this is found throughout the Lotus Sutra and is presented in a single chapter for the reader to easily understand. The lecture on the Lotus Sutra is intended to be a launching point for the reader to embrace the Lotus Sutra through their own practice, experience, and personal study. The lecture on the Lotus Sutra is the beginning of the conversation, not the conclusion. Two friends sitting on a porch swing Sharing their understanding and joy of practice is how this lecture book is intended to be enjoyed. I hope you will enjoy reading my book. Thank you.